61A lecture number 31, announcements. Wow, look at all those announcements. Homework 11 is due tomorrow. We'll have a homework party today to make sure that you make progress. Homework 12 is due next Tuesday. It's also short. Homework 11 and homework 12 are short because they're due at the same times as parts of the scheme project in order to make sure that you keep working on the scheme project. So, part one of scheme is due tomorrow, part two is due next Tuesday, and part two is much longer than part one. So please spend some time on this. Hopefully you're already making progress. If not, you gotta catch up. You can get a bonus point for submitting the completed project by Wednesday, and uh, we'll have a project party tomorrow in order to make sure that uh, you get help with your project as you go. Don't forget about the completely optional Scheme Recursive Art Contest, which is due the Monday after Thanksgiving. And this Friday is a holiday, so there will be no lecture, no discussion, no office hours. However, discussion attendance still counts this week. You can earn attendance by coming to discussion or completing the online participation form by tonight. You can attend any discussion you want on Thursday if your regular discussion was canceled on Friday, but please fill out the Piazza survey first so we know where to expect extra people. We'll also have a special online discussion on Thursday, and I'll be the discussion leader. Check Piazza for details on how to join that online discussion. Today's lecture happens to have an example based on former U.S. presidents. And as it turns out, yesterday was election day. So I thought I'd take a moment just to say something about the experience that many of you have just gone through, because I know many of you just voted in your first presidential election. First, politics can cause a lot of anxiety. 61A can cause a lot of anxiety, too. If you're feeling overwhelmed, make sure you talk to somebody, whether it's a friend or a roommate or a TA or a professor or a counselor. Just find someone to talk to so that you don't let anxiety get the best of you. Absolutely, you should keep fighting for a better world for you and everyone else. But worrying about that possible future world often doesn't help build a better one. And the other thing that I like to remind people of is that most likely, the things that will matter most to your life are not your president, but your peers, your friends, your family, your knowledge, your abilities, your understanding of how the world works. And one presidential election doesn't have much influence on those things. 